Hello farmers, welcome back to East Vineland and welcome to the month of July. I am cutting the grass in our small grass field in the T8. Meanwhile, I got Frank, Francine, Frank Jr., whoever is down there. Uh, they're doing a harvesting contract on barley, I want to say it is. I probably should look at it a little bit more uh, closely, but the, yeah, the combine's down there with the 660 tractor. Um, so we're harvesting and bailing up some straw. I did take care of the grass silage contract in field number 94, was it? Um, yeah, so I got paid like uh, pretty close to 20 grand on that. Not that much. I was pretty good at guessing how many bales I need to bring to the sell point, so I didn't get that much extra. But the rest, of course, is over there in our stockpile for the month of January. But since last time I did an episode of East Violent, there was an update to the Better Contracts mod to where, and I got this active, and I'll show you this in just a moment. When I do contracts now for NPCs, I can actually get discount on the farmlands that they own. So the grass field that I did would go for about $602,000. I did one contract for them, and now I can buy it for like $570,000. Basically, I get like a 5% discount every time I do a contract for that particular NPC. I think up to five times or max of 33%. Um, I'll show you, uh, there's a new, uh, at least I saw for contracts, there's a new settings uh, panel that we go to and we can adjust all those settings if we want to. Now, at first I'm like 5%, that seems decent. Uh, we'll go with that. But then realizing on $600,000 field, you know, I'm getting like $30,000 off for doing one contract. So I try to reduce it less than 5% discount, uh, but that's the lowest you can go. You can actually go up to, I think, 14% discount for every time you do a contract. So, um, but for the cost of land here in East Vineland, I think 5% will do just fine. So what I was trying to do today is, you know, we're looking, to, looking at trying to buy the land right behind us which is a soybean field. And I was like, okay, who is the owner of that field? And I'm like, okay, do they have any contracts I can do today to get, you know, 5% off the land? And uh, right now, she doesn't have any contracts going. So, yeah. So we're going to be trying to do some contracts for some people that I want to buy the field. Now, buying this field right here that I'm currently trying to mow <laughs> um, has soybeans in it. The good thing about soybeans, as we know, does not require any fertilizer. So if I buy the field, it shouldn't require any fertilizer. Uh, we just don't know the soil type. We don't know the crop rotation that, well, actually we will know the crop rotation, um, but it shouldn't need any fertilizer. The pH value might be kind of bad. It's probably got rocks in it. I don't see any weeds currently. So that's a good thing. We can actually afford that land right now. I think it sells for $299. We got $325. So like always, when I was doing the bailing contract for silage bales, I got to wait for the 660 tractor with our Kubota baler, because they can only bail six miles an hour. So I was just looking at some things, and I was looking at the new balers, of course, because when you're waiting for a baler, it's like, yeah, I need a faster baler. So in order to upgrade to our baler, I've been saying, well, we need to upgrade a tractor, because the T8 will have to mow, and then if I want someone to fall behind me to bail, the class area can't handle it because all the balers require about 250 horsepower except for the coon the coon baler can do 195 horsepower or re requires 195 horsepower so the class area can haul that one there uh, the price is more expensive for it but we're only talking like an extra 10,000 sounds kind of weird when i say it's only an extra 10,000 because at the beginning of the series, you know, $10,000 was quite a bit, and it still is. But, uh, yeah, so I'm in this trying to figure out, you know, if I buy a baler, then I'm about to get a, you know, I do want to get another tractor, a uh, bigger tractor. Uh, I was thinking, okay, sell the class Arion, but I don't want to sell the class Arion because I use that tractor to put Nero tires on to take care of the weeds. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, you, you're darn if you do, darn if you don't kind of a thing. I'm going to go ahead and just park this stuff right over here for now. I know at the end of the last episode, we're tidying things up, and now here I am, just putting things down anywhere. So i got to get down there and empty out the combine, because it's already full. I'll have to come back later on and do the wrapping of the grass, because we're making straw bales right now. 
Let's just come on down here and get our tractor. Our soybean fields are growing nicely. So we want to avoid going in, into those or I'll do some crop destruction. Those will be, re be ready in about a couple more months for harvest time. And of course, all the soybeans go into the fuel refinery to make fuel, compost, and pig food. Let's get on down. We have to go too far to get the barley. I just got to see where it's got to go. I didn't check the contracts. I just saw some good paying contracts. I think all the harvest, I got three harvesting contracts that I've taken and they're all paying like six, 7,000 per. So if we take the uh, bales that we get out of it, you know, we're going to be getting pretty much like uh, almost 20 grand per harvest. Probably a little bit shy of that. So let's zip on down here. When I say zip on down here, uh, 33 miles an hour. So once again, I know I'm going to tease some of you, but uh, yeah, I think I think the next tractor I would like to get, uh, but you know, the sales page is always going to determine what we get. I would like to get the uh, JCB, just uh, you know, for hauling around the grain trailer or the baling trailer. The JCB can go about 42 max, so that's like a you know 25% increase in speed. So that'd be kind of good for us. Since this is not our field, I can drive into it, won't get any crop destruction. It's good to see that uh, Follow Me is not having a problem with a standard worker. I don't have the combine on course plays, it's not a standard worker. And sometimes they will back up. So, yep, yeah, we're unloading barley. So while I'm sitting here waiting, where am I taking this barley to? No, that's uh, wrong. Uh, barley, barley, barley. Let's see here. No, we're not doing, am I doing wheat? I'm doing wheat. Okay. Uh, and take the products to selling lodge. Very big. I don't think I've been to that sell point. Selling lodge, very big. Uh, where is selling lodge very, oh wait, that's mine. That's what it's called. Does the, <laughs> this place right here. Uh, self-selling, that's what I would like to call it. Can I rename that? I'll have to probably see if I can rename. I think I tried renaming it and I couldn't. Self-selling lodge, very big. That's where that's got to go. All right, so while we're talking about contracts again, let me go on down to here. So, yeah, if you are running the better contracts mod, you got your contracts right here and right above it, you got your settings. So we can do a few things. We can actually adjust rewards for contracts offered. I got that on standard. Uh, leasing costs, I got that on standard, or I can multiply it so it costs more, or as you would say, take more out of the contract by leasing. Uh, current active contracts, I got uh, three. Ma it says max number of contracts I can take now is three. I can actually up that if I want to. Uh, I haven't touched that. Uh, lazy farmers, I got that turned off. Is this basically if active NPC farmers more often skip work on their fields, so more contracts can be offered. So when I wake up in the morning, sometimes the fields weren't ready for harvest the previous month and the month rolls over. Um, I wake up at eight and some of the fields are already harvested. I can actually turn this on and the farmers will not actually be working their fields as much. And then I could, uh, I think I can activate or deactivate what they do more or less of. Um, Higher difficulty, what that will do is I got to get the contract done that month. You also have a penalty amount for canceling contracts. So if I take a contract and don't want to finish it, I'll have to pay 10,000, yeah, 10,000, 10% of what the contract is. Uh, unlock borrowing equipment, number of successful jobs for an NPC farmer before they lend you their equipment. I'm not sure what it means by lend their equipment. Does that mean I get the equipment for free or is it still part of the leasing thing? Don't know. Uh, but down here is what I was talking about earlier. So I did activate this. If active, an NPC farmer gives a discount on farmland purchases. Uh, discount increases with the number of completed jobs for this farmer. So the lowest you can go is 5%. An NPC farmer increases their discount by this amount per job completed. Max discounts cannot rise above 50%. Oh, I thought I said 33%. Okay, maybe I read it down here. Can reduce the max discount... Discounts per contract, 11% number of jobs, three max discount, 33%. Current number of jobs completed will decrease by this value. So, yeah, I got it on the lowest setting at 5%. So this field here, we'll have a look at in just a moment. Let me get out of the way so as our workers come on down. 
but I'll show you a little bit what's going on here. So yeah, I did field number 94. Now originally field number 94 was going for 602,000, but now if I click on it, it's going for, you can see the minus 5%, right? It might be kind of hard to see because it's red. I'm trying to, get, let me get you up here where it's blue in the background. So you can see I got minus 5% of the field. So now it went from 602 down to 572,000. $30,000 discount. Um, so I'm going to keep at the lowest setting, try to do the amount of numbers I could. And if you're wondering like, well, how do you know who owns the farmland? It's, it's hard to tell because you click on it. No one, it doesn't say what uh, or who owns it. So you got to click on farmland. And then if you click on the lot you want to buy, it's going to have all the stats up here. But if you look in the lower right or lower left-hand corner on the right-hand side, um, it'll say who the owner is. Emily Nicholson owns this one. And the value is 299000 So trying to do jobs for her, but she didn't have any today as of yet. Because that's the next piece of farmland I would like to buy. Unless something comes in for sale in the store that I'm looking to buy first. But there's nothing here currently. So that's where we kind of stand on that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this field. But I'm going to kind of show you what we're doing here. Wait, what, what field that we are at here? Right here. So field number 38 goes for... $464,000. So at 5% discount to make math easier, you get $5,000 off every $100,000. So it's going to be like $25,000 less once we complete this contract with this uh, NPC. So I'm going to let the, the NPCs finish up uh, this harvesting here. We actually got to harvest a field right behind us. And we'll be doing that next. So I'll see you in just a moment. Uh, delivering the grain up to, well, our sell point to get the contract complete. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it'll pop up in the upper hand corner that we'll get the 5% discount on any of the fields that that NBC owns. Got the remaining wheat off that harvesting contract. Gonna go up here and complete it. Now, I was looking at some things in between here, and all three harvesting contracts that I have taken today is for the same field owners so by the time I got done doing all three contracts I should have a pretty good discount on all of her farmland so the discount is going to take place right as soon as I get the contract complete rather than actually completing it in the contracts page so we will go into here and just have a quick look at field number 36 once again uh, farmland so yeah we're doing the contract in field number 38 currently and the price is 464 but she owns field number 37 as well. You can see uh, Gina Hartman. Gina Hartman, same owner. So the price in the bigger field is 702000 So I'm going to get a discount on both pieces of property as soon as I get the contract done. So if you watch the upper right-hand corner, you'll see contract complete, which will come up. It also say Gina Hartman grants you a 5% discount for future, future field purchases. So now if I come on in here and go to farmland, so this field was 702000 is now, well, of course, it's 666,000 because I tend to like that number apparently. And of course, field number uh, six, uh, sorry, 38 has gone down about 25,000. Now, when I get the other contract done, it'll be another 5% being done. Um, okay, I got only got 519 liters of wheat left. Instead of bringing it down to the grain mill and making flour of it, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it because uh, it's not that much. So you will get the discount before you actually collect on the contract itself. Now, I also should mention that the Better Contracts mod is on the Giants Mod Hub, but it's only available for PC and Mac. Uh, sorry, console players, once again, but that's the way it is. Uh, let me go ahead and the contracts page, and then we'll collect on that one right there. So that one paid me 5017 not too bad. The other two contracts are going to pay me seven dollars and $8,000 respectively but of course you know we're really doing it you know for the straw i'm getting more out of the straw than I am the contract but yeah i'll collect on the contract as well so i mean 10 percent off on a field that costs like 700 grand that's seventy thousand dollars i can save of buying that field in the future i want to go ahead and park the t8 down here by the next field We'll come back up and grab our IntelliSense New Holland Combine. And we'll start harvesting field number 37, I think it is. Yep, 
park this right over here. This field is kind of got a, like a, you know those three trees kind of make it oddly shaped, but with the big uh, let me just teleport be easier. Well, because I say that I've got more, I got more pieces of equipment now than I realized I had. All right, pipe on in. Now this setup here, try to unload with a standard worker, the in-game worker. Uh, with a 60 foot header and the long pipe on this having a little bit of an issue of the worker realizing my trailer was there I mean we are stretching the pipe to its limit I remember harvesting this field doing other contracts with I would say 40 foot headers and it took a while but now with a 60 foot header to make work a lot easier like all the fields and the best part is about this whole thing I'm not uh, leasing equipment with these contracts so I don't have to be like you know don't collect in that contract uh, which contract has the better equipment and it, you know all and what's 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 not costing me as much to lease it for other contracts now it's just a matter of yeah I'll take that harvesting contract and go of course, the contracts that do pay a lot, and we're getting to the point where I could afford it, but I'm not going to buy it, is the root crop, root crop harvester, the Mac Tower's root crop harvester. Um, I could actually buy the harvester itself now, then I have to buy the uh, J, uh, according header to the contract that uh, it requires it for. So this is the barley field I was thinking of. Shouldn't take me that long to get it on done. Then we'll go around, pick up the bales from these. Like I do have a canola contract that's at the northern end of the the town, so I'll probably do that in between episodes. Won't take me that long. I mean, all the harvesting I had done so far in this combine, I only got just barely two hours into it. So, ripping through the fields at a very good rate. But the money that we do have, and uh, we're going to be collecting here shortly with the bales, and of course doing the contracts. Uh, i got to make, make up my mind at some point what to do with that money. Um, it's either A, buy the soybean field up by our farm. Uh, B, uh, if something comes up for sale in the store page, buy that or C, put down the meat production facility, which is going to cost 350000 which I'll have the money for here shortly. Just by selling the bales alone will get me that high. Now our pig pen holds about 90 some odd pig, pigs. Yeah, pigs. Uh, pigs, and we're already at 30. And uh, as soon as the other piglets hit mature age, they'll start reproducing as well. So during the winter, I can see our pig pen being full. So getting the meat production facility up and going this year might have to do that sooner than I thought. I think Frank's going to have a problem with picking up that swath. I'll have to come around and pick it up later. Yeah, this feels just a little bit weird shape, so I'm going to be zigzagging here and there. Get it taken care of. The yield looks pretty darn good in this field. Already got uh, get close to 17,000 liters of barley. But luckily, I think we hold 23,000 in the combine. But like I said, it shouldn't take me too long to harvest up this field. And then we'll go grab our bailing trailer and Go sell these straw bales that are down here, bring some cash in. Let's go ahead and get this job done. What's up?
contract done I'll probably end up with about 4,000 liters depends how quick I am with the trigger and we can bring that over to the grain mill 4,000 liters is kind of worth it for barley to bring to over to the grain mill before it was wheat and it was like 500 liters and it was like yeah it's not to me it wasn't worth my time let me keep my eye on the contract there we go now uh Gianna Hartman gives me 10% discount so that field that was in the one that we just completed uh, wait, can I complete that? Yeah, I can collect on that. So if I go up here, her field originally was 700,000. That's the one we're doing the contract in. And if I go to farmlands, click on it, 10% discount, I can now get it for 631,000. And the other contract I got way up here, uh, I think it's field number 67 I'm doing. Yeah, field number 67 is flashing. She owns that field as well, so I'll get an additional 5% more. So that price will just keep on coming down. So when we start buying fields maybe next season, we can start expanding further away from the farm a little bit. And uh, let's see, how many liters I end up with? Oh, almost 7,000 liters of barley. So let's go drop off this barley into our grain mill. We're going to bring the trailer back to the farm, pick up the baling trailer, come down and grab these straw bales that I did in these two fields here, and sell those. Francine was the one following us around in the 660 bailing, and she did a very nice job. Got like 95% of the straw. The corner she could not get, but then can't blame her on that. I set her up for failure when I do that, but overall she did rather well. I don't know what we're going to get for the straw bales. It's the middle of summer. And usually straw bales go very well in winter time, but I don't really have a place to store them. And I'm already storing silage bales. I don't want to be storing straw bales as well. But in the future, when we get the barn that we can put bales in, uh, we will go ahead and probably do that. I'm just not doing it now because we're making round bales. And we're going to be switching over to square bales here. And the barn is very particular of what kind of bale goes into it. So I don't want to have to put down... A barn for round and a barn for square. So we're just going to go wait until everything is switched over. So I can shove two more bales on here. So it's going to be a couple trips on up to the bioheating plant. Which is that little red barn way off in the distance up there. The one thing I need to check on, not that I can do much about it currently, is our pre precision farming scoring. I don't know how well we're currently doing. I expect it to be in like in the upper 80s score because we did buy a new field and probably some of those uh, scores haven't been calculated because we haven't harvested the field yet. So I'm guessing somewhere in the upper 80s. Either way, we're going to get a decent bonus. Check for traffic here in East Byland because 95% of the time as well with traffic, when I pull out onto a road, there's a car right there.
Just remember back to the days when I used the 710 John Deere to haul these bales around. It used to take forever to get from point A to point B. And I could upgrade the horsepower in this T8. And someday I'll definitely be doing that. But saving the money for more important things. Alright, so this sell point, I'm usually pretty good at getting it all sold at once. So 10,612.35 for the score. Yeah, right, 89. So what field? Yeah, the new field that we bought is only showing a score of 69. And of course the field down here, so that's 99. So this this field here is one holding us back. But we just bought it. We haven't harvested yet. It says it needs fertilizer, which it does have into it. But for some reason, the fertilizer score doesn't uh, actually count until you harvest the field. Seems kind of weird, but that's the way it works. But not too bad. Uh, we'll just say about you know, 11, 12,000 for straw bales so far. And got one more trip to make. At least one more trip. Not quite a full trailer, but pretty darn good. Probably bring us in about eight grand. Squeeze on in here. And roll these on out. Okay, so better than I thought. Just a little over nine grand. Getting us up to $363,000 currently. So, I got one more contract that I'm scheduled to work on, but I noticed when I was harvesting field number uh, 38, I think it was, 37. Field number 36 is ready for harvesting. Uh, actually, let's go over to this page here so we can see what is ready for harvesting and what isn't. Field 113 is ready for harvest. That should be a good contract as well. And field number 36 is ready for Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Field number 36 and 113. Um, I am doing field number 67. And if 68 comes up, I'll probably try to do that one as well. And of course, I would assume all these are serial contracts that we're doing, talking about. Uh, yep. That is barley, I do believe, in field 113. Uh, field 36 is barley. And if I come up here, uh, field 68 is wheat. So... I'll get straw on all of these fields, which would be kind of nice. So I'm going to leave the T8 right here just for now because I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing next. Uh, but yeah, got some stuff to do. So the contract's uh, working out rather well. Getting some discounts. Yeah, the better contracts mod, the whole discount thing, that's the thing that I talked about before. Um, that used to happen back in Farming Simulator 17. When we did missions, that's what they called them back then, in Farming, Farming Simulator 17, we did missions for them. You got discounts on uh, fields for working for that particular NPC farmer. So, uh, but I would like to find, I got to remember her name, Emily. Is it Emily? What's her name? Emily something. Emily Nicholson. I got to find what other fields she might own to kind of get a discount on this field here. But uh, we'll have to see. Maybe that's the only field that she does own. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in East Vineland. But until then, have a good one.